What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with another awesome math lesson. Today, we are talking about what is a remainder. So let's get it cooking and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to understand what a remainder is and to be able to solve simple division equations with a remainder in my answer. Let's take a look at our Instructa storyboard. So you want to make some cookies for your friends because you're a great friend. So here we have our Instructa Beats oven of math and we need to open it up. We need to stick that cookie dough in. Watch it rise over several tantalizing moments and then when you hear that wonderful sound, you pull those cookies out and now we have this wonderful plate of cookies. So you've made 10 cookies in your Instructa Beats math oven. And you want to share those with four of your friends, right? So we're going to do 10. We want to divide that by four, right? So here we have one friend right here. No arms, no hair, no eyes or face, just, you know, just people. There we go, okay? We have your four friends right there. Now, if you remember our introduction to division um, lesson, division is when we take a total, we split it into equal groups. So let's get rid of the plate. Let's just get our cookies right here to make it easier to separate those out. But what happens when we don't have equal groups, right? So if we give these cookies, here's maybe one to Fred, one to Sandy, one to Sadie, and one to Billy Bob, right? And we start splitting these up evenly because like we just talked about, right? We remember that division is a total into equal groups. And if you notice, I don't have enough cookie to give everybody the same amount, right? Because division has to be equal groups. So if I give these two to our first two friends, these other two friends aren't gonna be very happy, right? But they're gonna think you don't like them as much. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. So we can't give these cookies away. So this is what we call a remainder. If you divide 10 divided by four, every single person got two cookies, but then you had a remainder or a leftover of two cookies, okay? So you had 10 cookies. That's your dividend as you uh, learned last video. We were trying to split it into four groups. Right, so for this, our groups were our people, which means each person or each group got two cookies, right? Two cookies each, and then we had a remainder of two. So I like to put these like in like a little remainder box over here or something along those lines. That's what a remainder is, right? A remainder is what do you have left over if you can't split them up equally, right? Because we know that division and multiplication have to be equal groups. Now, speaking of multiplication, we can check this using our inverse operation. So if we rewrite this using our fact family knowledge, we could have four groups of two, and that would obviously give us eight cookies. And then we need to add the two leftover cookies back into that, and that will give us a total of 10. So our totals match up. So just like you can always check division if there isn't a remainder with multiplication, you can also check your answer using multiplication, but then you just have to add the remainder. Let's get chromathy, which is kind of like getting mathy and crazy at the same time. So let's get rid of the instructive storyboard and let's just do 11 divided by five. So again, some of you might be thinking, wait a minute, I can't do 11 divided by five because division has to be equal groups. And you're totally right. But you can now because you can have a remainder. So. I like to do um, bar models, if you will, or we can even do something like this. So let's just do 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And let's split that into five equal groups, right? So let's say we're going to have, you know what, let's do five in each group. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, and five, right? So now I have five in this group. 
Then I could have one, two, three, four, five in this group. So you can actually use counters to help you with this if you're following along in the video. Um, I don't really have counters on my screen, so I'm just doing with dots. But if you have counters, it's a great way to do that if you're a teacher, which means I have one left over. So I'd have a remainder box, if you will, of one. So if I do 11 divided by five in each group, that means I could have two groups, right? So 11 divided by five is gonna be two with a remainder of one. Now it's important to note this relationship between your dividend and your remainder. So let's kind of make this a story problem, right? Um, let, I don't know, let's say, let's just make them dots, right? So we had 11 dots and we were trying to put five dots into uh, a circle, right? So we had five in each group. And if we had five in each group, that made us to have two groups that we could have, right? One, two. And then again, notice this relationship. If we were splitting up dots, then your remainder is also going to be dots. We had one dot left over in our remainder box. So whatever you're splitting up, whatever your dividend is, that's what your remainder would also be labeled. So let's just to recap, we had 11 dots. We were trying to put five in each group. So we can make two equal groups, right? Because division and multiplication are equal groups. And then we had one left over that didn't quite fit in. So if we wanted to check that using our inverse operations, we had two groups of five. Two groups of five was 10. And if we add our remainder, that's gonna give us a total of 11. So our totals, our dividend, matches up with our total once we added that one remainder. Now, how could we do this mentally without counters? If some of you might be ready for that, right? So if we get 21 divided by four, and I know I'm gonna have a remainder, right? Because four doesn't go into 21. Well, what I'm gonna do is inside my instructed beats oven mind, so this is gonna be like your mind that's also an oven, I'm gonna rewrite this as multiplication. Okay, so four times what gets me close to 21? Well, four times five, right? Well, four times five is only 20, which means I would need to have add one to equal 21. So my answer, 21 divided by four, if I do this mentally, would be five groups with a remainder of one needed to be able to have the total of 21. So if you think about this using your inverse operation multiplication, you can do this mentally. Now, just for this one, let's just check this, but I'm not going to draw all 21 dots for that, right? So let's just do four groups, right? Here's my 21. If I'm going to split this into four equal groups, right? That would be uh, five plus five would be 10 plus five would be 15 plus five would be 20. And then I would have this little remainder box, right, of one. So four groups of five plus one give us a total of 21. All right, so let's do one more, get mental before we, uh, and then I'll have you do a couple problems by yourself, right? So if we did 17 divided by three here, and I'm like, okay, three doesn't go into 17, so I can't divide that evenly, so I'm gonna have a remainder. So mentally, inside my instructed beats mind oven, three times what gets me close to 17? Well, three times three is nine, three times four is 12, three times uh, five is 15, three times six is 18, that's too big. So if I do three times five, that'd be 15. And then I'd have to add three to that, or sorry, two to that to get 17. So my 17 divided by three is gonna be five equal groups, right? And then I would have a remainder of two that I would add to that. So if I wanna check that, right? Obviously I would do three times five is 15, add two, that gets me a total of 17, which matches my dividend over here. So again, once you understand remainders, we can do this simply and mentally in our head by thinking about our inverse operation. All right, so here's your you try problem. So if you're new to instruct beats, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pause this video. You're gonna try these on your own, write them down. Most of you have printed notes if you're doing this. We have the link to the description in our video. Um, and then push play and we can check our answer. So go ahead and pause it right now and then push play when you're ready to check your work. All right, so here, my answer should have been 
four with a remainder of one, right? So if I wanna check this, four times four would be 16. Then I add my remainder and that's gonna give me a total of 17. 100 divided by, uh, and 104 divided by 10, try to trick you just with larger numbers, but obviously 10 times 10 would be 100. So my answer would be 10 with a remainder of four. So I wanted to check that 10 times 10 would be 100. I add my remainder to that and that would give me my dividend, my total of 104. And then for this one, I just try to trick you. Um, I know in third grade, a lot of times they just try to put the question mark on the other side and we get confused. But remember, an equation is just the balance. It doesn't matter what side it's on. And so my answer here should have been six with a remainder of four. So five equal groups of six would be 30. And if I add my remainder of four to that, my answer would be 34, which matches my total. So hopefully you got those right. Um, if you got that right and you're ready to move on, check out our uh, remainder song. And we also have an awesome lesson on interpreting remainders um, for word problems and how we can manipulate those because once you know what a remainder is, now you have to figure out what do I do with that remainder? And it all depends on the word problem. So thank you so much for checking us out. We appreciate it. We know there's lots of different options online. So we love that you're checking out Instructive. Don't forget to check out our songs, timers, and other classroom things that we have. Love for you to subscribe. Hit that like button. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.